How was your afternoon? Good. Dr. Victor Trastic is a thoracic surgeon and chair of the Board of Governors Mayo Clinic Scottsdale. Prior to that, he was a thoracic surgeon at Mayo Clinic Rochester. There he worked with Shelley Olson, an RN and nurse manager who ran a thoracic vascular post-operative unit at the time. Mayo has always prided itself on the service it provides patients, and a big part of that service includes a team-based approach in which colleagues provide service to each other internally, which ultimately provides better service to the patient. But that concept wasn't working as smoothly as it could have between Dr. Trastic and Nurse Olson's unit. When I first took over as a nurse manager of the unit, I would say the mood was tense between the physician staff and the nursing staff, and particularly with Dr. Trastic. They were somewhat, I would say, fearful. I'd go as far as to say fearful of him. I'm a surgeon. I'd make rounds on what used to be called Five Mary Bry. It was a vascular thoracic floor. And I was a typical surgeon. I came around, and when things didn't go well, I let people know that they didn't do a good job. They, you know, and I was forceful and I was loud, and I would embarrass people, I'm sure, in front of the patient sometimes, in front of their colleagues, but on the behalf of the patient, I was doing what was right. I was wanting the nursing staff to round with the physicians when they came around because nurses are part of the whole team, and if the nurses aren't at the bedside when the physicians are rounding, I think some critical information is being lost that could perhaps negatively impact the patient. And so I was saying to the nursing staff, you need to round with the physicians, but I was finding with Dr. Trastic, they didn't want to round with him, and they were all but high hiding in closets and hiding down other hallways when he would come around and I was literally behind them saying I'll go with you to round with him but we need to round with him. But I noticed after a while I'd show up in the morning and the corridors were empty. There wasn't anybody there and I had a call for help. Where was the nurse? That they, you know, they just weren't there. Well this one particular day he came to the unit and there were cups of coffee or water in the hallways. I would get so upset because it looked messy. And I'd go around, I'd throw all their cups away, and I'd get mad and scream and yell. And so he was somewhat in a rage, or very angry, saying, you know, why are these coffee cups all around? You know, the staff shouldn't be out in the hallways drinking. Let's get rid of this. And I had finally just basically had it with his attitude. And she looked at me straight in the eye, and she said, listen, these people are not camels. They get thirsty. They don't have time to take a break. And all of a sudden, at that moment, I kind of got it. They weren't trying to be messy. They were trying to give good care. They were just trying to survive out there on the floor. And I was being a jerk about it. It's a little bit hard to call somebody a jerk, but since he called himself a jerk, it, it probably was somewhere along those lines. From that day on, I basically stopped screaming and yelling at the nurses. And I came around, and I made it a point to educate rather than blame. And a couple things happened. I noticed now the hallway had many people in it when I was ready to make rounds. And I knew that I was teaching people when things weren't going right. And at the end of the day, I knew my patients were going to get just that little bit extra care. And the last thing that happened in the real light bulb was when I walked off the floor, instead of being upset and angry, I felt good. So it was a win for the staff, it was a win for the patient, and it was a win for me.